Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I wanted to create a very sweet, feminine, dusty rose monochromatic makeup look. I wanted to create something very sweet. I'm going out. I'm gonna be wearing black only because I don't have a lot of options right now. I'm 39 weeks pregnant. I don't know when I'm gonna post this. Currently, as I'm filming, it's a December 22nd. This is the look that I'm going to create in today's video. And if you're new in here and if you don't know, I've created a full makeup course, an online makeup course. It's a beginner makeup course if you want to learn the techniques, if you want to learn about how to apply makeup. Now, let's get into this look. If I skip the name of a product, you will find it in the description box, but for now, I'm using this lip balm from Omorovica. Do you guys have any tips on how I could possibly be sleeping now before the baby comes? I don't want him to come and me being already like super tired. You know what I'm saying? Like this baby needs me, so I need my sleep, but it just doesn't happen. Well, who am I kidding? You know, I'm trying to clean the caps from the NARS foundations, but if you have ever bought anything from NARS, you know that this texture is really nice, but really hard to, to clean. This is in Fiji, Natural Radiant Longwear foundation but I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of Barcelona because I have a tiny bit of a self tan left this is a powder brush I use it uh, for everything powder blush bronzer <laughs> highlighter sometimes it's from um, KVD very old here's the difference with and without obviously you know there is a difference of color but also i feel like it gives a glow a beautiful glow you know what i mean and it's very long wear concealer we're staying in the family using nars what concealer are you guys using powder from makeup forever it stays matte longer if I use this powder, it's super matte. And especially if I take it with this um, with this little puff, I don't set the whole face. Just like the center. But man, like this combination between the foundation and the powder, wow, it's unbeatable. Like it stays on all day long. Okay, this is not sponsored by NARS, okay? But I had it close by. This is the new, somewhat new cream bronzer from NARS. And I'm using the color Laguna. This is available in two colors. Laguna looks like this. I feel like this color is great for me as contour as well, not just bronzer. Because it's not that... You see, it's not too warm. I think I'm going to get with powder bronzer on top. Very similar with Huda Beauty Tantor. If you have that product, don't buy this. Make sure you apply some bronzer everywhere, I would say, a little bit um, on your neck, a little bit on the forehead. It looks weird when it's just placed on one part of the face and that's it. Um, also on the nose, however, I powdered. The nose so now I'm going to I'm almost like forced to use a powder product to bronze and to contour the nose so I'm gonna use this one from Dior I'll take this color right here taking a smudger brush this one in particular is from um, Zoeva okay just a little bit of shadow here and there so yeah looks better i'll do the eyebrows off the camera because obviously you've seen it too many times and i'll be right back i've already created the makeup on this eye and this is the palette that i was using this is the pat mcgrath mothership i'm gonna start with this pink morphe m573 brush it's a blending brush and i'm applying that first color it's a nice dusty rose all over the eyelid 
doing circular motions. I take a little bit of product and then spread it. I never dig too much into an eyeshadow. I like to build it. Then I will take a smaller brush. This is a refer 14 and get the darker color, the, the rosy, mauvey color right at the end of the eye. I would say where the pupil ends to the end of the eye. So keep on blending this. And then with a smudger brush, I take that first color, that dusty pink, get it all along the lashes. And now I will just use a, a black matte eyeshadow. And I really like Jet from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the L04 brush from Sigma. Small brush, amazing for details. From the end of the pupil to the end of the eye. A little bit of the black at the end of the eye too. Just what's left on the brush. I haven't dig into the black anymore. Then I take my brush and blend this black. Then I will take Super Shock Shadow from Colourpop. I hate their packaging and sometimes you know the product is not the best like it always comes completely broken. No! No, it's all over my belly. Okay, trying to put this back. I wanted to tell you that you know despite the fact that the packaging is not the best and the the way it's pressed is not the best. The product is amazing, but you know what? I cannot recommend this product. This is not functional. It's beautiful. If you're lucky, you might get one that actually stays inside. The reason why I love them, I truly love them, is because they're so creamy and they have this combination between satin and metallic and also glitter. So, however, it's driving me nuts that they're just not functional. Now, with my finger, Get it on the middle of the eyelid, like so. And then get a little bit right here. You know, when, when you turn, look at this beautiful situation I love. We're gonna curl the lashes. I wanted to use a different mascara because I literally over used this but then I remember that I've used it on the other eye so I'm gonna go with the flow. This is the Sweet Lashes Mascara. Looks more glittery on this eye but I think it's just the light. Now for the lipstick I'll try this one. Uh, this is called Nude Boise. It's from Givenchy. So I want something super soft. I want something softer than this, but I'll apply something on top. It's really nice, no, don't get me wrong. I just wanted something lighter than this. I've tried this lipstick from Huda Beauty in Impress. In combination with this lipstick. Oh, where is it? This lipstick is just perfection. A little bit more of this. Look at this blush, how perfect it goes with everything. This is from Pat McGrath. Wow, beautiful, beautiful blush. Okay, this is a Hakuhodo P25 brush. 
flirtatious. Flirtatious? Where do you see the, the name? Mm -hmm. How lovely is this? You guys, how amazing is this blush? Beautiful, beautiful. I love the finish. It's a little like satiny. Then I'm going to take this highlighter from Jouer. It's in Rose Quartz. And this is a brush from YSL. Wow, this is like I barely touched the skin. Mm. It's also because I didn't powder in here, so it has a better grip. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I think it's a beautiful feminine makeup that will just mm, give you that little sweetness. It's a monochromatic look that I believe it works if you are definitely super fair this works if you're super fair it doesn't really matter the color of your eyes this goes with blue it goes with green it goes with brown and it will also work really pretty if you are very dark deep skin tone it's going to sort of lighten up your whole face because it has this sweetness this pink it has this little sweetness to it i love it you should know i always use some sort of spray if I'm actually going to use that makeup, like going out or meeting friends. But most of the times I immediately take it off and a lot of times I would apply another uh, makeup look in, this, in that same day. So that's why I don't even bother using a setting spray or any spray. But just so you guys know, I love this. It's not for oily skin. This is the Lame Temporelle Blossom Beautifying Cream and Mist from Givenchy. It's beautiful gives your skin the most like expensive glow and it has the best spray ever why can't they all be like this are you seeing this glow all right guys this is the final look i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you want me to do other monochromatic looks in the future maybe you could suggest the colors that i should use something that you've always wanted to try maybe yourself i just wanted to take a little bit of time to thank you guys because we're at the end of the year and although today is december 22nd and i don't know when i'm gonna post this by now my baby boy did not arrive yet i wanted to thank you for all the support that you showed throughout the year and hopefully this is not going to be my last video this year but if it is if i give birth meanwhile <laughs> and i don't get to talk to you i wanted to tell you that i'm going to post a little bit less i don't know if it's going to be one video per week or if i'm going to take maybe one or two weeks off completely from youtube i really don't know it scares me the unknown but in the same time i i don't want to have any pressure because it's my first time being a mom how amazing is this and i've been waiting for this child since forever i hope you understand and i will still make videos it's just that probably it's not going to be the same frequency for a while until i get my rhythm just wanted to put that out there however it's much easier for me to post on stories because you know it's no editing it's nothing so make sure you're following me on instagram so you get to see the whole journey i'm so excited <laughs> thank you so so much for watching for all your support for all your love for all the mamas out there who have always sent me all your good vibes and good advices i hope i'll see you guys soon bye mm. for this i'm capable of sweating and working all year around because nothing compares to you mm, mm, mm. ready to film now baby got my energy back